Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Sorry, video. A uh, slight technical problem here. Oh, that scared me. Just gonna cover this guy up for a little bit. Like so. <laughs> oh, what'd he hit? He hit something. I walked by and he shot. Just the uh, just record, I think, fell off. Whew. No fires. Good. Good news. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man. Must be just enough space for this guy to spawn in there. I'm tempted to leave him. <laughs> oh boy. I better get rid of him. <laughs> One, two, three, yeah, four. It's four blocks high here. It's not enough. Not enough. Or wait. One, two. I don't know, it's, it's only three blocks. Weird. Where do you spawn? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, right there. Needs a five by five by four. Hi. Alright, hello, hello everybody. This is Etho on the Minecraft server. And once again, I've been working on the Nether Hub. This is what I'm spending most of my time on on the server. And a lot of progress has been made again, so I'll just run you through that and some of my plans. Although you may have seen this by the time I get this video out. But just in case you haven't. Uh, this is the new shopping district up there, so I, I kind of, I tried to copy the design at the bottom, but maybe change it up a little bit, so I did the three-sided entrance look up here, and just changed that up a little bit. I think it's kind of cool. Hopefully people like it, so you can see some uh, finished ones over there. Uh, you got lots of glowstone lighting up here, finished half slabbing up here as well. Might change a few things, like I've got like this nether brick thing going on here. I might change this yet, I'm not sure. Uh, it all depends how it works out. And I've started laying out the shop spaces even, like the walls between the shops and you know, since this is on an angle, like this is a diamond shaped room, really. Uh, since it's on an angle like this, we can't quite have square shops. It's a lot easier to build uh, if you have a square space. But what I've done is I got like a little entranceway that's angled, and then it goes to a square shop for people. It's like a seven, seven by seven space I've given everybody pretty much. Uh, the middle one's a bit tougher because he's, this guy gets sandwiched between the two. So he's got this long entrance way. Uh, and then it goes to a big open space here. Um, I, you know what I did though? I made this middle, the middle ones bigger because I figured people would avoid choosing the middle placement even if it works out better for them because they might want one of these chops so if they choose this one the sandwiched one they get the benefit of having a little bit extra space for their stuff although people can expand beyond my limits here if they want I don't really care it's just a guideline as long as they don't interrupt other people's rail lines that have been set it's all good and yeah, I think it's going okay, man. I'm really happy. I started working on stairs to get up here. This is not working so well. It's not terrible, but I had this plan for 
really fancy staircase to get up here, but because of the shop spacing, uh, I kind of bottlenecked between the staircase below here and uh, and the, the shops on the left, so you know it works. People can get up here pretty easy. I managed to make it too wide at least. Uh, but I might change these stairs around so I can have a wider opening to get into this. I'm not sure. And then we could have a little space for something here too. Uh, this is up above the stairs. And then for the ceiling, I don't know. The, I might do a design like they have at the original hub. <laughs> I'm lost over here. Uh, they got this like obsidian glowstone bedrock thing going on. Could do something like that. Also it'd be cool maybe to have a chandelier coming down in the middle. But yeah. It's going good. It's going really good. So I moved a bunch of people too. Talked to Baj. He he seemed excited to get moved in here so I moved his uh, rail line and got that all fixed up. Uh, I just did a sloppy job putting it in so if he wants to refine it he can come through here and like get rid of, rid of these levers in your face if he wants to fancy it up a bit um, Doc talked to me he said he wanted a, an entrance that connects to uh, Paz's rail line so gave him a spot uh, and until I fix Paz's rail line Paz can use this one too uh, showed MC Gamers before we got that all fixed up and I got Adlington moved. Uh, what I did is I made him go up the staircase. Again, he can refine this if he wants. I recommend it. And then that goes back to his original rail line here. Just got cut short a little bit. Uh, there's lots of space for expansion though. I, I moved a bunch of rail lines around so people have room to, to do stuff up here. And I think it's going to work out really well. Uh, a plan I have for this room here, I think this is a good idea. I'm going to have a rail line that goes this way and it's going to connect to the other hub section over here because MC Gamer is probably going to have to move his lapis exchange either to a store above or or to the open spot next to his entrance. And then I'll put another rail line here and there'll be a quick quick way of going back and forth between the two. Uh, people are getting a little confused about these portals, so I think I should mark them. This one goes to... This one goes to Goodland. Goodland. And since there's four portals, I'd like them to go out in four unique spots, not just two unique spots. So I might mess around with the portals myself. And because there's a there's like a nine nine block space in between these two, or ten blocks. So that's that's like eighty blocks further. You can move them in the overworld and get them to a unique spot that way. Spawn village. And spawn village. Hopefully that clears things up for people. And what else? I had another idea down here too. We got the spacing back there. I think it would be a good idea to have like an information board that people could post messages to each other or, you know, something along that nature. Communicate um with the message board. We do talk on Skype a lot, so it's a little bit... I don't know how much it'd get used, but just for quick, simple messages, it might be a good idea. Have some books where people could write stuff to. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm going with this now. Alright everyone, so this is now a few days later that I'm recording this section here, and there's been a, a few more changes. I got all the stores laid out now. Gave them all wood floors. People can change these though. It's just a general guide. Uh, 
I've been calling them stores, they're not really stores. The idea is I'm giving everyone a little personal space where they can do something fun and creative that the other Minecrackers will be able to see easy because it's in a, a busy bi space, you know? The Nether Hub gets a lot of visitors. Uh, so, like, in a little space, MC Gamer made the Lapis Exchange, Avidia made his uh, Tiki Bar. I'm kind of giving everyone a little space like that where they can do something fun uh, and entertaining. Could be a store too if they want though. I've uh, I fixed Paz's rail line. The only one I have left to really fix is the orange wool guys. They never actually had a rail line. They were using Adlington's I think, but I I think I'm gonna give them one anyway. Probably go to the right here. Yeah, it's gotta do that. Uh, let's let's get started on uh, this tunnel. Or actually, yeah, one more thing. I moved the Lapis Exchange here. And Nebris helped me quite a bit on this as well. We were very careful to get everything exactly the same. <laughs> well, pretty close to. And I think we did a good job. Then I ha had to move it down one more block because it was in the way of something. But it looks looks pretty much identical, I would say. MC Gamer saw it and he seemed to be okay with me moving it. Uh, now with that space, we're going to do the rail line thing. Oh boy. Oh, major lag. End of the world lag. Goodbye guys, I'm sorry. No! Whew, man, I survived. That was, uh, that was very close, very dangerous. But we're all, we're all good here. So yes, the rail line, we're going to put it in go from one end to the other here. It's not that far, honestly. It's only, I counted it 70 blocks, so it's not exactly a pain to walk or run, but after doing that a few, few times, you might wish for faster transport. So that's, that's kind of the idea behind this. It's, uh, in order for it to be good though, like actually useful to people. I have to make sure there's always a minecart here and one at that end as well. So people can just hop in and I'm going to do it so that they hop in, press forward and then they go and then hop out at the other end. So that is the plan. Uh, there is uh, the enchantment exchange on the way here. So I think what we'll do is build a few blocks away from this. I would have liked to have it a little closer. I kind of laid this out as a guide, but that's not going to work. I think I want to put it um, maybe here. We're going to do a three block wide thing. And to here. How bad is that going to be for this guy? Because <laughs> now there's a free spot and my stupid tunnels in the way. Um, let's see, that would come out to roughly here. He can he can still zag around. <laughs> it's not ideal though. Probably only reason someone would take that spot is if they're going this way. And that would work out okay for them. Um, hmm. Alright, so I do... Uh, I did plan this out a little bit. I got some some stuff ready here. I got fences. I got spruce wood. We got birch wood. Got oak wood. Uh, pumpkins. Bar. I don't think we're gonna use bars. Leaves. Oh, let's get these in there. Leaves. We got. What else do we want? Let's grab spruce leaves as well. Alright, so this is my plan. I'm going to do something very similar to that mushroom farm I did in my uh, single player let's play world. And I want hmm, <laughs> I want to try something like this. Get the, get the fences in between. Something like that. Let's just see what it looks like. Uh, 
All right, so imagine that all the way down. It's cool. I think that that would be good, but we need a different block type. I don't like this. So let's try the the birch next. Birch wood might look pretty good. In my uh, mushroom farm, I did I did this and I did the the birch wood mixed together. All right. I also have nether brick fences, but those probably aren't going to look as good, are they? We can try them, though. Okay, I like that more. The nether is pretty dark, you know, so you want lighter colors if possible. Let's try these. No, <laughs> that's not going to do it for me. All right, uh, let's try, let's get our fences back in. You know what would be cool, actually, let's try this out. Let's do spruce logs. That's kind of cool, I like that. Um, maybe, also, <laughs> go with that theme. Let's let's try uh, cover up the ground a little bit so you can't see as much birch. Let's do a few half slabs. Oh yeah, I like that. Maybe bounce it out on the top. What do you think guys? I think that's pretty cool. And then I brought these leaves I wanted to try for the backing behind the fences. I'll pick those up in a second, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, that's the thing about the nether, though. It darkens that up a lot. Uh, do I have torches? The leaves aren't a, a nice uh, green. Okay, mm but... Uh, BWO used these recently, the spruce leaves. I want to try those out too. They keep their green, greenish look. They got a, a darker look. I don't like them as much normally, but yeah, that's that's a lot greener. Oh yeah, I think we're on to something here. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Running all the way down, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get to that, and we'll see how it goes. Zisto! What do you think, Zisto? Does it look good? You like it? Yeah! <laughs> I just noticed this. They got like a... missing pixels or something on the, the lower part of their face, and a thin wafer or something. On the bottom left there, it's kind of strange. But yes, here is the rail line. It is done. I actually laid it out pretty quick. Got a little rail indicator at the top, kind of like Nvidia did here. And it's it's very warm and cozy. I like it. Very very nice. Or I'm happy with it anyway. Ah, uh, there's still some stuff I need to do with it. Um. Oh, there goes my cart. Yeah, I laid it out so that there's not too much space in here, so the minecart will go back real quick. Um, but I might have to change this around a little bit. The idea is I always want two minecarts on the track, one at this end and one at the other end, if possible. Uh, the problem with that... By the way, I can use this two ways. I can either get in and push forward, or I can give it a little bump. Oh! There it is again, it's the end of the world, no! What is wrong with my computer today? Stop. Stop! Did that fix it? Yeah, I fixed it. Nope. Oh yeah, it's gone. So yeah, the problem is, I have to get by this minecart in the way. And... <laughs> how do we do that? Because we got a straight line here. I'm not exactly sure... Uh, I think as this cart's coming this way, this cart 
needs a power rail right where it is there that will push it and then I need a T-junction somewhere on this track and hmm let's see let's try <laughs> uh, let's try send it down here maybe I think what we could do is just have a have like a little secret track over here. I have no tracks. It's kind of a tough thing to deal with without building another track beside it, which is not really what I want. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Is that going to connect up to here in any way? Okay, so I am able to make a junction. That's good. Ooh. Now, if I cover that... Just hear me out for a second. Am I able to still switch this, or is it now lost it? Okay, so it still switches. That's good. That's what we want. Uh, the minecart probably won't go down there with that slab in the way, though. Oh, <laughs> this isn't helping. There goes the minecart. Uh, let's get one of these in there. All right, let's try this again. What's it gonna do? It did go down. Oh, oh, that is sneaky. <laughs> it went right through the block. Okay, that is a good possible way of hiding a second track down here. Uh, so when I go over a de detector rail going this way, it'll launch the cart and it'll get out of the way and then go to the other end. And same for the other side. Cool. I didn't know what to do with the, the ceiling because I, like, I like the look of only seeing half the, the birch plank here, but then I had this middle free. So I just stuck some lights in there and some stairs. I think it's okay, though. Maybe a few too many. It's... I don't know. <laughs> it's good, I guess. I don't know how to judge the things I do. <laughs> uh, behind the leaves, we can still see through them. Uh, I think I'm either going to put snow behind them, if I can, or... Uh, maybe those mushroom blocks would be cool, too. But I can't do that everywhere, I don't think. But where I can, I'll try that. Oh man, this is proving to be a lot more difficult than I was expecting. I uh, found a few new problems. Uh, one of them, like with our half slab sneakiness here, it'll go through the half slab, no problem. But then that's it. It won't go down to the rail line below because of this block right here. It's no good. Oop. <laughs> Switched it really quick there, so we have to we have to get rid of that to make it go. Um, even if that's a half slab, let's get out of here real quick. Like I could use a birch half slab at the top there. Even if I do that, it looks like there's a lot of space below, but it still still sees it as a block and won't go, which is a problem. Uh, I can I can make it work doing something else if I let's see if I can do this again it's kind of tough to do if I change this track around so that it hmm. yeah if it does this I can make it uh, go through a half slab if it goes down a full block like that Ooh. <laughs> which is a little strange, but that would work, because then it's not going to hit this block. Um, but even if I do that, there's another problem that I need... I need to then get the cart back up. Like, if, if the cart's coming from this way and it has to get back up, I no longer have a ramp for it to go up, because it drops off the full block. So I would need to set up a second ramp which is going to make things pretty sloppy, so I don't want to do that. Uh, 
So I'm going to tear out this rail line that I made here, and the new plan is to drop the cart from up above here somewhere. Because if I do, let's just go over here. If I do, let's see, let's uh, let's do this. Minecarts are so strange. If I have a minecart up like this, I can actually make it go through a block diagonally like that. Well, it would have went if I had more speed. Uh, so that's that's the plan. I'm going to drop it from the ceiling somehow, and that'll keep the track looking clean. You won't have these uh, these junctions in it all over the place. Just one to get it off the track. Uh, there's another thing I did here too, which is kind of cool. Like normally, if you have a block, the minecart would just bounce back and start going. But this is a stair, actually. It's very sneaky. So when I go in the cart, if I just tap up now for about a second or so, it'll get me going. Oh! Um, before I had it on a detector rail. So that's cool. But the reason I'm doing it like this, uh, I need an empty cart detector as well. Because if a cart is going. Let's see, how did that work again? If I'm going if I'm going this way, I need that cart to start moving, right? So it's got to be on a power rail of some sort. Uh, and if the power rail is off, there's no, there's no easy way of me to quickly hopping in the cart and going if it's off. Uh, which is, unless I hit a button or something. So that's, that's why I did it like this. So in order to get the cart moving, I have a block swapper hidden down below here. And this changes that stair with a full block. Like that. So that's how I'm going to move the empty carts. And then it would switch back. So it's a little weird, but that's the way I'm doing it. I think that'll work out pretty clean without it uh, wrecking the look of my track here. Oh man, I figured out why I was getting those crazy leg spikes. Uh, my uh, my hard drive was full, <laughs> but I, I cleaned up some space, so should be good now. And I've done a little bit more on this. There's probably a really simple and clean way of doing it that I'm overlooking, but I have found a complicated and clean way of doing it, at least. And I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty crazy what I've done here, actually. Okay, so first off, let's say Eugene, the cart thief, has walked away with one of the carts. There's always supposed to be two here, one on each side. Say someone accidentally takes it from force of habit or whatever, or they just want to be mean. <laughs> uh, there's now a cart dispenser up there. Ta-da! Falls through the block there, and we got a minecart. Now, uh, we have this detector rail here. This is our empty cart detector, this thing right here. If it's an empty cart, this junction switches and then switches. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think because I pushed it, it didn't work. If I'm in the cart, uh, because it moves faster with a player in, this switches uh, and, and goes straight. I think because I gave it a little boost there, it didn't do that. Let's try. So I'm just going to do my little gizmo here. Yeah. So if it's an empty card, it'll go down into the other rail line, which I'm going to run over top here. And that'll take it to the other end and drop it down from the ceiling like we did with this thing here. So... I'll show you that. So it'll go to the other end and go through this thing. Uh, this makes it fall through the ceiling. This is downward. And the button goes to this dispenser, which will send a cart through as well. Uh, so what I got down here, I need, I need a detector rail somewhere down the track that will send a signal to make the empty cart get out of the way. It has, I don't know how far back I have to make it, but uh, once it tells 
it'll send a pulse down to this gizmo. We've got a monostable circuit here set at four. That goes to this double pulse thing I made. It uh, sends out one pulse, then after six ticks it sends out another one. And that goes to the block swapper, which switches the stair with the, the block. Like I said, I'm sure there's a simple way of doing this. I just don't know what it is at the moment. Uh, this is the, the empty cart detector thing over here. Uh -huh. So all in all, it works pretty good. Oh, that pulsed more than once. Yeah, that's right. I gotta go in as quick as I could there, I think. We want it to be fast so that we don't have to have the tech detector as far away. Because we need to give the cart time to get out of the way before before we make it. So it'll probably have to be back here or something. That we have to run a redstone line. Oh yeah, I got it done. And it is wonderful. It is beautiful. It does exactly what I want it to. And I am able to keep the clean look of my track. So it... It does many crazy things, and you don't understand why unless you look at all this garbage. <laughs> uh, and in case I wasn't clear before, uh, this switches to a solid block and then back to a stair. That's why it, it pulses twice. Um, so I'll, I'll take you through this. You saw all this junk already. I have a empty cart line here now. This goes up around the back to this line over here. This, uh, this it takes it to the fall down sections. Don't mind this sloppy thing. Uh, what this does is just switches this to the right. Um, it's really annoying, but I can't have a detector rail over there to make this switch to the right because... Uh, what does that do again? Oh yeah. What it does, if, if I send a cart through this, it'll go left It'll touch the detector rail and then it'll switch it to the right. So even if there, even though the detector rail is there, it'll make a cart going this way go to the right, which is crazy. It's ridiculous. I hate it. <laughs> but that's just the way carts work around corners. It's really annoying. So I have to do this. Um, so this cart on this end will always go to the right, to the other side of the track. Getting a lot of that jerky motion too. Goes down here, there's there's power rails, plenty of power rails uh, being powered by the same levers that power the lights. Make sure the carts make it all the way. Again, I had to do another one of these sloppy things because the way detector rails work. Oop. And yeah, and this one goes to the left. Alright. Uh, now, this thing is cool. You might want to pay, pay, pay notice, pay attention to this. Uh, in the center is the thing that sends a cart. So if a cart is going this way, it tells that cart in front of us to get out of the way. Go, go down that empty cart line. And uh, these two detector rails can tell which direction I'm traveling using just this 3x3 three three footprint here. Uh, so if I'm going this way, it sends power to this block, to this repeater, and that locks this repeater so that when I go over the second one, it won't send power to this left line. Uh, but on the right side, let's just open this up. On the right side, we have the same thing except reversed. And uh, going this way, it will send power to this wire, and then it will go out down this, this line here. So this one doesn't get a pulse, this one does. Uh, and if we go the other way, it works in reverse. So uh, this one gets a pulse, but this one doesn't. So very cool. I'm probably going to use that for a lot of things. Not where I need to tell which way I'm traveling very easily. 
And I'll show you the cart ride once I clean this track up. I'm going to fill in all this junk and maybe put the mushrooms there. I might save that for another day, though. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, one more very small addition I added to this functionality is... Can you guess it? I added ice <laughs> under the right side here. Uh, so if people want to do the, the ice boost thing, they can do that. If people want to walk it, they can walk normally on the other side. These half slabs also will help prevent zombie pigmen from spawning on the track. Because there is at least three blocks solid both sides, which is very helpful. Um, and if we had the mushrooms, that will be four blocks for sure. But yeah, here's what it's all about, man. Let's go for a ride. Hop in, press forward. Woohoo! <laughs> you can see the cart in front of us. It's in the way. Gets out of the way. And we're good, man. If we want to go back, let's go back. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's really smooth. You just saw the cart fall down, too. Sent it away. If we go to the other side that we took the cart away from, we have another cart there ready to go. It's like the track knows. <laughs> it's a self-intelligent track. I love it. There we go. So, that's that's another job done. Really happy with that. I'm probably about done with this nether hub stuff. Um, I'm going to work on my base next episode, I think. So uh, that's it for me for today. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good day.